Hello everyone. Today we would like to introduce one of the common serological tests which is the complement fixation test. Before we explore more deeper into this kind of test, there are some principles that should be highlighted. The first one is, CFT is widely used to determine either specific antigen or specific antibody is present in the patient's serum. Next. This test is based on the principle where the complement fixed to the antigen-antibody complex. For your information, complement fixation do not produce any visible agglutination or precipitation that can be observed with naked eyes. Therefore the indicator system is needed. Furthermore, CFT is a qualitative test due to a specific amount of antibody or antigen that cannot be identified. However this test can be converted to a quantitative test by using antibody titer or serial dilution of the patient's serum. In addition, CFT is least chosen for diagnostic tests as it is a classic serological test. It has low sensitivity and consume more time when performing a procedure. Consequently, ELISA and IFA is more preferable to be chosen for diagnostic test. There are components that need to be prepared for complement fixation test. Patient serum that have been heated at 56 degree for 30 minutes. Prepared known antigen or antibody. Complement that obtains from guinea pig. Cheap red blood cell. And anti-sheep red blood cell antibody. These three are an indicator system. Now, let's move to the steps of complement fixation test. First, the serum will be heated to terminate the patient's complement, in order to standardize both serum. Then, complement and antigen are added, to both serum. In serum A, the antigen react to the antibody, forming an antigen-antibody complex. The complex will then fix on the complement. Sheep red blood cells and anti-sheep red blood cells antibodies are added to the serum, to verify complement are fixed or not. As the complement are already attached on antigen antibody complex, the complement will not cause the lysis of the red blood cells. Thus, the sheep red blood cell will sedate to the bottom. Next, let's take a look at serum B. In serum B, there are no presence of antibodies. So, the antigen antibody complex cannot be formed as the antigen cannot find the antibodies to bind. In other words, complement is not bound to anything and can roam freely inside the serum as there are no antigen-antibody complex. The same method used for serum A, sheep red blood cell and anti-sheep red blood cell antibody are also added into serum B. As the complements are free, they can bind to sheep red blood cell. The complements will react with the antibodies that coated the red blood cell, which will induce the lysis of the red blood cell. As the red blood cell lysed, the serum will turn into pink to red in color. Looking at serum A, no lysis occurred is telling us there are antibodies in the serum. The result for CFD test is positive. While for serum B, the lysis of sheep red blood cell indicates the lack of antibodies in the serum. Thus, the result for CFD test is negative. The Advantages and Disadvantages of Complement Fixation Test The advantages of CFT are including wide screening ability. CFT can screen against multiple organisms at the same time. Other advantage is economical. This is because most of the reagents used in CFT can be manually prepared. Let's moving on to the disadvantages of CFT. One of the disadvantages of CFT is low sensitivity. Compared to other serological tests such as ELISA, CFT is known to be less sensitive. Another disadvantage of CFT is a time-consuming test. A lot of preparations need to be done first before CFT can be initiated. 